Hello, Serendipity students. Miss Carla here, and I'm here to talk to you about stones, rocks, and crystals. I have this little box here that has a collection of stones. I'm going to be taking them out and showing them to you. I have the names of them, and this first one that was up on the top there, this is an amethyst. An amethyst is a crystal. Now you might want to know what's the difference between a stone, a rock, and a crystal. Well, a crystal is a solid material that formed from liquid. You can make crystals. Salt is a crystal, sugar is a crystal. We made some uh, rock candy the other day with the ladybugs, and the crystals are still forming. It takes a while. You can see this has a lot of really beautiful color in it. A rock is a natural material, hard or soft, consisting of one or more minerals, and a stone is a solid, non-metallic mineral matter. Like you might hear the word gemstone. Here you can see there are some gemstones in my ring. Okay. This right here, though, is a quartz point. You can see that's a crystal, too. There we go. The next rock in my box here is rainbow fluorite. It's got a lot of stripes on it. Look at all those layers. Next I have sodalite, which is a beautiful blue color. Can you see that blue? It's very nice got some white in it too. I've got moss agate. That's very dark in color. And next I have green aventurine. I really like this one. That's a very pretty color there. Agate is next. This is another stone that has a lot of layers. Look at that. It's got a shape like a diamond right in the middle of it. It's got a lot of white and brown and gray. It's really very beautiful. Next is Celestine. Ooh, this one here. Very cool. We'll put it right there. The next rock I have here is called Desert Rose. What an interesting looking stone. This is, I'm guessing this is a crystal here. It certainly looks like a crystal. Look at all that. Mahogan Obsidian is next. Very black, very dark, and shiny. Next is Gobi Fossil Wood. This was a piece of wood long, long, long ago, and now it is fossilized. It's so old, it's become hard like a stone. This next rock is pink chalcedony. Some of these are hard to get out of the box. I like the color on that one. It's very pretty. Next is chrysanthemum volcanic. Oh, this must be a lava rock. Look at that. I like the different dis patterns on it. It's very interesting looking. This one is co called copal. And it feels like it's kind of a sandstone, maybe. It's very rough. 
And last out of this box is called Chrysanthemum Jade. Look at that. Those are some interesting patterns on it. I love the color. It's very pretty. I also have with me a geode. The class has been talking about geodes. I'm tilting this one this way so you can see it. This one here has a lot of crystals that formed inside it. And you can see that I bought it in a rock shop and it wasn't broken open, it was cut by a machine. And then the edges were polished. You can see how smooth they are. They're not rough at all. That is a beautiful geode. I also have a really cool box of rocks to share with you. I've got a big tray for them because here it is. You can get a nice look at this. These are some beautiful polished rocks. I have a lot of them. How many do you think are inside this box? I'm going to dump them out so you can see all the different colors. Some of them even look like they have gold inside them. You can see it shining. This one here, it's very beautiful. Some are orange and red. Some are purple. This one here reminds me of the agate because it's got these, these lines on it. When I was having a Zoom class with the ladybugs this morning, I was trying to show them this on my computer, but they couldn't see it. So now here you have a very nice close-up view of that rock. Some beautiful pink ones. This blue one, it's very shiny. There's another one here that has some lines on it that you can see. I like this one here that's kind of rectangular shaped. And it also has a lot of lines on it. It's very beautiful. That's probably a type of agate also. Some of them are completely clear, like glass. But they're stone. There we go. Oh, this one here is so green. And this one is very interesting looking. Let me go. Oh, that one right there, that's the one I was trying to show you. And the purple, black. There's one here that looks kind of like a silvery color. And this one here too. Very silvery. And there's one here that looks like it was cut to be a certain shape. There it is. Completely round. I don't think it was formed like that in nature. Can you guess how many rocks this is? Well, I'm going to tell you now. Just over a hundred. We counted them this morning and I counted 102 and then I realized one had gotten underneath the edge of the paper and I really, for the next couple of classes that I did, I realized that we had 103. So there's 103 of these rocks that fit in this little box here. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at these crystals and rocks and learning the names of some rocks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.